Now let's look into the independence concept or independent uh, random variable concept. Let's take two random two random variables x capital X and uh, capital Y are independent if and only if uh, their joint probability distribution can be expressed as the product as the product of their marginal probability distributions so that's what is your uh, we can say them as a independence or independent so two random variables capital x and the capital y are independent when knowing one tells nothing about the other if there is no dependency this means that uh, the occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the other event occurring so that's where that's when we say capital X and capital Y two random variables are independent two random variables are independent so in the context of the marginalized marginalized uh, probability distributions uh, independence means that the marginal probability distribution of uh, one variable does not depend on the value of the other variable in other words if capital x and capital y are independent then the marginal probability distribution of capital x is uh, same regardless of the value of y so this is how we represent so probability of uh, capital X given Y is equals to small y, this probability, this marginalized probability of X is equals to P of X. Irrespective of the what is the value of Y, the probability of X remains same. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't depend on probability of Y. That's why we call them as independent, uh, independent uh, random variables. Similarly, the marginal probability distribution of capital Y is the same regardless of the value of capital X. That's where you got P of uh, Y given X is equals to small x is equal to just P of Y. Just P of Y doesn't depend on the values of X. And that you can see here. So here you have the random variables, uh, x, random variable of x is on your rows. You can see that the number of columns, x1, x2, x3 and so on. And here you have rows y1, y2, y3, y4 and p of x comma y. This is your joint probability, joint probability distribution. Now it's pretty simple. p of x is your columns. First, if it is p of x is this and p of y is this. There is, they are completely independent to each other. There is no dependency. So the above is the marginal independence. So two random variables, capital X and capital Y may not be marginally independent, but may be given the value of another variable Z. That's the another concept. So independence of uh, marginalized probability uh, distributions is a useful property in many applications as it allows us to simplify complex probability distributions and make certain assumptions uh, in statistical in uh, statistical uh, models for example in linear regression we assume that uh, the error terms the error terms are independent and identically distributed which implies that the marginalized probability distributions of the errors are independent so this assumption simplifies the model and allows us to use methods such as maximum likelihood estimation to estimate the parameters of the model so 
at the end if you want the joint probability after using this independence if the random variables capital X and capital Y are independent random variable then the joint probability distribution is nothing but the P of capital X comma capital Y is equals to just multiplication of respective probability of respective random variables so P of X times P of Y that's it so in this case you can if two random variables capital X and uh, capital Y may not be marginally independent but may be given the value of uh, another random variable Z in that case we can go for the uh, another uh, random variable Z so P of capital X comma Y given capital Z is equal to small Z then you, you can use the conditional probability that marginally marginalization using the another random variable because both x comma y are independent but they are dependent of another random variable z and in that case you can use this formula so in spite of just p of x multiplied by p of y then the the new formula converts into the p of x given z is equals to small z and p of y given y uh, p of y given z is equals to small z and this is how the third random variable comes into the picture